altura. <laughs> Hello everybody, good to see you again. It's me, Dale here, the Dado Says Fat Guy. Yeah, so last time I did one of these 10 pounds down in the time video, it was I believe October 14th, 2022. Uh, life was very different then, but it very quickly went into turmoil. I needed to move, uh, it took me a few months. And I spent the bulk of last year getting used to my new living arrangement and figuring out what day-to-day -day life would be like. St I still had a bit of a mind and ear towards, you know, uh, fitness, but really more so towards just eating more mindfully. I'll talk more about that later. But, uh, well, I did not do things as well as I could have done it, I did an outright fail. And as you see, I'm more than 10 pounds down, and it's been down for more than a week, so... 325.7 pounds is my new baseline. Okay? Yeah, so I've been down by over 10 pounds before over the past year or so. October 14, 2022 is just the last time I formally did one of those 10 pound at a time videos. Whenever I do one of these, I'm formally declaring, okay, I'm not going to see myself going that much higher above where I'm at at this point, and I see myself going down another 10 as soon as possible. And about the uh, waist measurement you'll see here, See, I used to measure my waist like right at the bottom of my stomach. And I'm like, I don't actually wear my pants like that. I wear them up under my stomach. So I'm now measuring my waist exactly how I wear my pants. So that's why I said it's new methodology and why I'm not doing a real comparison with the waist difference there. But it's, I did lose weight there. And you know, I know I've uploaded videos since that last 10 pounds down at a time video. A couple months ago, back November 11th, he would have got the video that showed me at 331.2 pounds. So, what was that? Yeah, like 7 pounds below where I was at before. I could believe, okay, I'm close to 10 down. But this is a difference even two months makes. And I, I wasn't doing much exercise. I go on my back porch and I get on my rowing machine to relieve stress. Move things around the house. I walk up and down the stairs to get in and out every day. I do a bit more work than I used to uh, at my older home. But otherwise, I'm not going out of my way to exercise. I just cook a lot of my food. And most of my food is just good whole food. Or crappy whole food. But it's still, I know just about everything that's going into it. I still eat crappy stuff. But it's not the majority of what I eat. It's a very small minority. Except for when I go to Little Caesars. Went to it twice last week. But hey, I still lost weight, so don't hate on my little Caesars. Thank y'all for watching. I know I just said thanks for watching, but there's just one more thing here. Uh, I've been donating or throwing away clothes that are too big or way too small for me that just aren't going to be my style anymore. So my class has gotten a lot smaller. I'm going to talk about that for a little bit. That's what the rest of the video is about. If you don't care anymore, feel free to just jump out. Otherwise, if you're interested, stay tuned for more. Yeah, so I pulled all of my clothes out in the house. and no, I, I pulled out Aiden's clothes first. Got rid of over half our clothes. Clothes that were too small, too big, we gave them away. And it, some clothes that were too damaged or tossed out. And then clothes that weren't fitting our current style are gone. So it hurt closets down. And did the same thing with mine. I lost uh, about half of my clothes as well. Uh, I got to give away most of them to my nephews. But quite a few of them were damaged beyond repair. And this is pretty much what I'm left with. Um, this little part right here are clothes that are, are too small for me. But that I like. And that... I believe I'll be able to fit within a few months. They're just a size or two below where I'm at now. I wear four X's comfortably now. Around this time last year, I was fitting four X's, but I was just right at the bulging point, like where I had to suck in my stomach just a little to, for it to look like a comfortable fit, but if I release my stomach, it was a tight fit. Now they're a comfortable, now they're a comfortable fit. Hey Aiden, hi. you wanted to be in the video? Yeah. You wanted to say hi? hi? Say hello to the people, Aiden. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's Aiden, y'all. Yeah. And then most of these, uh, it looks like more clothes than it really are. This is really sitting on top of a, a crate. Well, on top of my vacuum cleaner, really. But, yeah, these are the clothes I'm going to be wearing for the next few months. After, uh, like, close to the end of February, beginning of March, I'm getting myself a completely new wardrobe. Because most of the clothes I tossed out, I threw away, I really threw away more than half of what... Of what I originally had, or gave away more than half of what I originally had, they were a mix of seven six, sets and five uh, shirts and pants that were 54 waist and above. So I wear four X's now, and I'm hoping to get into a three X by the end of February, beginning of March. Uh, 
at the same level or even better than I was at a four X last year. So I'm hoping to be at a three X in a shirt in a couple of months. And I'm hoping to be a solid fifth year below in the waist. Um uh, you can see the measurements here in a moment, but basically yeah, it's very uh it's very possible. Sorry, I haven't been updating this much, but I still keep track of some things off camera. But without further ado, here goes to the rest of the measurements. I clothes on the floor all the time now, but it's just for separation purposes. As you see, everything that was on the floor is hung up now. All these hangers, by the way, I think I'll put an Amazon link to them in the description. Maybe not. Let me know. Yes. I have dressers, but I don't need to use them.